Hello and welcome to Mechanical Why. This is a glass of water. There's a pervasive myth that water is incompressible and this is simply incorrect. Water is indeed compressible. In fact, I will compress it right now. So what just happened? I tapped the side of the glass and it produced a sound. That sound traveled through the water and we know that it did not travel through the water at an instantaneous rate. It traveled at a finite speed. Sound is a wave. It is a special type of wave called a longitudinal wave, also known as a compression wave. When I tap the side of the glass, a compression wave travels through the water. If water was incompressible, the water would displace instantaneously, and we know that this is not true. In fact, there are certain things that require water to be compressible because of functions like sound. A submarine would not be able to use sonar and whales would not be able to use echolocation if water was indeed incompressible. So how much does water compress? The answer is not very much. In fact, it's hardly at all. The water is being compressed here. The sound wave travels too quickly and the compression is too small for me to observe it unassisted. Nevertheless, scientists have measured the compressibility of water, but it takes extreme pressures for us to be able to observe it. Let's assume we sink this glass of water to a depth of five kilometers below the ocean surface. This is a depth of about 16,400 feet. The pressure at this depth is about 500 times the pressure that this glass is experiencing right now. And this volume of water would compress by about 2.3%. This is not very much, but it is relatively easy to measure. There are applications in everyday life where compression is significant. One example is water jet cutting. It's a common manufacturing technique where high pressure water is used to cut materials. These machines typically pressurize water to anywhere from 200 to 600 megapascals. This is about 30 to 90,000 PSI. This is about two to 6,000 times the pressure that this glass is experiencing right now. At a pressure of about 350 megapascals, about the midpoint, or about 50,000 PSI, this water would compress by 14.7%. 350 megapascals is also approximately the chamber pressure of a high-powered rifle. When such a rifle is fired underwater, the projectile would have to appreciably compress the water ahead of it in the barrel, drastically reducing the performance and function of the rifle. So where did this myth of water being compressible come from? Well, water is effectively incompressible for most of our day-to-day -day activities. That is, taking into account the compressibility of water would not change our experiences of how we perceive it. But in situations where water ex is experiencing high pressure, or in situations where the strong sound wave or shock wave propagating through the water, compressibility should be considered. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you found this interesting. If you did, please like and share this video and subscribe to stay up to date on new content.